this video we're going to talk about the discriminant and x-intercepts and uh, the discriminant if you don't know is the square root piece inside of the quadratic formula so the discriminant is often looked at as the kind of a dirty little shortcut um, to actually figuring out the quadratic formula the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a now, the quadratic formula here allows us to find x-intercepts. So the x here is really the x-intercept. Another word for x-intercept is roots, zeros, uh, and oftentimes they're called solutions as well. So when something asks you for a solution, it's really a solution. It's really asking for uh, you to find the x-intercept. Now, before you actually look for x-intercepts, do this dirty little trick, this uh, discriminant uh, idea. And why do we want to use the discriminant? Well, the discriminant is this piece underneath a square root. And we know that square roots must be zero or positive. So a number inside of a square root has to be a zero or positive. So when we actually uh, use the discriminant, the, the one part of the quadratic formula, we can in fact find out a lot of information about our parabola or a quadratic that we're trying to to solve for so let's go ahead and do it so here we've got 3x squared minus 5x plus 11 the 3 the leading number that's our a the negative 5 is our b and the plus 11 is our c if i want to solve for my discriminant i'm just going to write down b squared minus 4ac and try and solve figure out what kind of number it is b squared will be negative 5 squared minus 4 times a, a is 3, c is 11, negative 5 squared, that's positive 25. Make sure that you put the brackets around the whole negative 5. The entire b gets squared. And then I have negative 4 times 3 times 11. So I'm going to do 11 times 3, which is 33, and then 33 times 4. That's a big negative number. I don't even know what number it is, but it's, it's definitely bigger than 25. And 25 minus a big number is a negative number. So for sure, my first discriminant here is going to be a negative number. So b squared minus 4ac is a negative number. We call that, the we just say the discriminant is less than zero. So that's, that's discriminant here. If I try and do the exact same thing, with my second um, expression here, 1 quarter x squared minus 3x plus 9. Again, 1 quarter is my a, negative 3 is my b, and plus 9 is my c. So I'll go ahead and solve for my discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. Uh, b is negative 3, so I'm going to square it, minus 4 times a, which is a quarter, times c, which is positive 9. Figuring this out, I will get negative 3 squared, which is positive 9, minus 4 times a quarter is just 1. 1 times 9 is 9. The discriminant is equal to 0. So in the second case, I've got my discriminant to be equal to 0. So we can just write D is equal to 0. So it's different than case number 1. In case number 1, my discriminant was negative. Let's move on to the last case. And uh, again, we're going to figure out what the discriminant is. Negative 2 is our A, positive 3 is my B, plus 8 is my C. B squared minus 4AC is the discriminant. 3 squared is my B, minus 4 times A, minus 2, and then times C, which is 8. I'll get 9. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, times 8 is positive 64. So this is going to be a positive number. So in the third case, my discriminant is a positive number. So those are my three different cases. Case number one, where the discriminant is less than zero. Case number two, where it is equal to zero. And case number three, where it is greater than zero. If you connect it to the entire quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of the discriminant, all divided by 2a, I hope you can appreciate that if the discriminant is a negative number, uh, I cannot take a square root of a negative number. It's not defined, meaning that this x-intercept, I won't be able to find a solution. I will not be able to find a solution to my quadratic formula because this entire piece will not um, be defined. Um, 
And what does that really look like graphically? Well, it really should mean that there's no x-intercept because that's what the quadratic formula is solving for. It's solving for x-intercepts. In the second case where the discriminant is equal to zero, that means that I will only, if I plug that into my quadratic formula, the plus minus square root of the discriminant really means that I'm going to be adding and subtracting the same number, zero, because it's uh, the discriminant is zero in this case. So my two x-intercepts, because again, that's what the quadratic formula determines, will be negative b plus zero over 2a, and the second x-intercept will be negative b minus zero over 2a. I hope that you can appreciate that that's going to be the same number. Whether I add zero or subtract zero, I'm not going to change it. So my x-intercept will be negative b over 2a, uh, which means that I'm going to only have one x-intercept. And in the third case, I do have uh, a positive um, value for my discriminant, which means that this is going to be my standard case where I have two solutions to the quadratic formula. And again, a solution to the quadratic formula is an x-intercept. So graphically, solving for this discriminant is quite useful because it allows us to determine really quickly how many x-intercepts I've got. So if the discriminant is negative, I will have no x-intercepts, and my parabola may look like something like this. It will never touch the x-axis. When the discriminant is equal to zero, I will have one x-intercept, so my parabola will touch the, um, the x-intercept and bounce back, meaning the vertex will be on the x-intercept um, or on the x-axis. And then the third case, which is probably the most common, is my parabola will have two x-intercepts, two solutions. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed watching this video.